so um, I, I actually, I came from Soviet Union. Uh, this is Soviet Union, it's men mentality. It's, it's, a, it's not, it's, it's something that does not exist anymore. It's very sort of surreal to, to come from that environment, uh, Soviet environment uh, in modern world. It doesn't exist anymore. So I would say um, pluses and minuses, Soviet um, lifestyle, Soviet um, maybe um, structure of um, country and Soviet mentality, because I know, I know this from the first hand, I am from there. So who doesn't know me, I am Olenka or Lina or Lena, whatever you call me, I'm okay with that. I come from uh, Ukraine, uh, but when I left, uh, Ukraine was occupied by Soviet Union, by uh, Russia Empire, and it was not Ukraine yet. It was Ukraine because we all had a very strong Ukrainian spirit. We hated Soviet Union, all of us, you know, and it shows now with this war. We didn't want it. We want freedom. Um, I tell you from the first hand how I felt when I left uh, Kyiv uh, in 1991 <laughs> when um, Ukraine wasn't free yet. This is why I'm saying I come from Soviet Union, although spirit-wise, ancestor-wise, I'm Polish-Ukrainian. Uh, in this video, maybe uh, maybe you will be interested to talk with me because it's uh, it, it is nice to talk, right, about some topics. And this topic is about um, uh, what 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 was that Soviet Union? Why uh, there are some uh, so much problems now we have because some people want to restore it or renew it or have back go back in time. Um, this is dangerous, very serious topic, but I want to make it light because it's between us. I'm independent um, blogger, so you know we don't have to make it super serious. Um, let's just talk about uh, pluses and minuses, okay? Um, I will uh, talk about minuses first and um, and then about pluses if you don't mind it. So first minus, first. Uh, I'm a tarot reader. I will use one card to say one, two, three, four because I might lose my count. So first minus, or oh, let's look into card as well. Six of pentacles. <laughs> Money were not fairly spread um, between people. Hmm? I don't have even to think if you uh, you have tarot cards, you don't have even to think uh, tarot things for you. And this is true. Um, in Soviet uh, times, um, money were not fairly spread. Money are not never fairly spread among people in any country. This is true. But Soviet times had specific uh, not fairness uh, in money um, sharing, uh, sharing in goods, uh, and wealth, uh, and it um, went um, corrupted way. Well, money always corruption, of course, more or less. But it was a specific corruption. Um, if you, um, well, my father, he was a doctor, and he was offered to become a communist party member. He said no. So we were very poor because he said no. Um, I worked in school, in, in college, in music college, and um, if a person wants to go up in career, a person has to become a Communist Party member. If a person uh, would, um, will be lucky and um, only Communist Party could rule um, in, uh, in city hall, any, any city or in government, of course, was only one party, communist. And uh, if you don't believe in communist party and you still become one of them, so you are not new, but these people are just terrible because they betray themselves. I don't envy them. Um, however, if you want to uh, go up in career or become um, part of the local or uh, government or, you know, government of the country, uh, you have to be a um, member of Communist Party. These people had special stores, special medical clinics, they had a lot of uh, an income, they, they also borrowed money or corrupted, they took um, money, like, 
wealth from a country and um, they had everything. This is why the Six of Pentacles is saying that money were not fairly distributed and people who were not um, part of the Communist Party or government, they had nothing. They had not even... Um, you cannot do nothing. You cannot... Um, to say find yourself in profession because you will be like everyone else and this is uh, this is the society i lived this is on bottom of society most all of it uh, all of us uh, people who did not uh, belong to the government or to the party were very very poor and everyone was the same i was a teacher i had only one skirt <laughs> and, uh, and that's it um uh, the food was very plain because uh, not many countries traded with us. Whatever we were able to get from India or Cuba, these were spices. Otherwise, there were no spices, no trade. So uh, the food was very plain. Uh, clothes was very gray. Everyone was the same. If you want a um, pair of um, shoes from Yugoslavia, you have to stay in line for three days and nights and for this you have to go to capital of your republic or country. Um, money were not fairly spread in this sense. Uh, some people will argue with me that it, there was security. Yes, um, there was security. My grandmother was a pensioner. She got, um, I think it was 30 rubles for a month. It was below poverty. Yes, it was security below poverty very very poor although everyone was very poor so you didn't, did not feel poor there were people from nom nomenclature who were not poor but we didn't even know them they didn't look at us uh, we were not people for them we were just were numbers only uh, so um, <laughs> i don't know how it was for them but i presume that uh, now a lot of we know they had a super luxurious life and they told us that uh, everywhere enemies around us, but, but they were um, able, well, it was a lie, right? Because this is how they uh, controlled us. Anyway, so the first minus was money were not spread uh, fairly. Well, this just looked out, it's probably easier for me. <laughs> it helps me to think. Uh, four of chalices, uh, why, uh, why uh, I did not like it, it's on the Soviet Union. This is a very good card, but someone is watching, you see? You're just in your home, but someone is watching you. It's true, <laughs> you were watched all the time. Uh, you all know about concentration camps, gulag of uh, Soviets. Uh, millions of people were writing, um, writing, um, false evidence to your neighbors because they wanted your apartment or they wanted to um, uh, revenge you for something. Um, I was called twice uh, when I was a teacher to City Hall because uh, someone told someone that I wasn't too Soviet. It was scary. <laughs> so I experienced it myself. You were watched all the time. Uh, when you go out, you have to pretend uh, that you, you know, either you don't care or you have to pretend that you're okay with that. Otherwise, um, there could, could be consequences. So everyone was watched and people who are not honest, revenge through uh, writing um, false evidences uh, for other people. That was terrible. Um, you talk about the Soviet soul doesn't exist. Uh, uh, the the uh, help to each other it doesn't exist and in real life it was it was gray uh, as i remember um, i left when i was um, already like 26 or 27 or 28 i, I don't count those things but i was adult um, and since i knew myself uh, from my teenage years i hated it it was terrible Life was gray, you, you didn't want even to try because you know if you will be a good inside, fair and decent person, if you want to be a decent person, you will never get ahead with anything. So in order to get ahead with your career or anything, you have to get un to be undecent. And decent people, honest people um, had a very gray, uh, uninteresting, 
life where you um, <sighs> you know you won't achieve, so you don't try. This is how I remember it. Maybe you remember it different? Write me a comment. And again, it's just my private opinion. I'm an independent blogger. I know that lots of people who don't agree with me will write me hate comments, but what happened now in Ukraine is an evidence that my words are true. Okay, I see my videos already like long. This is why we will take number three minus of Soviet era. And if you want videos like this, write me a comment. I will make more videos like that, okay? And maybe next video we'll, we'll talk about pluses. Explore if pluses exist. Seven of chalices. Uh, chalices. Seven of chalices is the card of, um, uh, you know, false uh, expectations, I would say. False expectations. So, uh, yes, um, so minus of Soviet Union. I can talk about other false expectations, but let's just keep to the topic. Minus, minus of Soviet Union when it comes to self, uh, uh, self, not doubts, but, but uh, illusions, uh, illusions. Uh, what were illusions? Hmm. Honestly, I didn't have illusions because when I went to, to the outside, I found that uh, the so-called um, capitalist world was way better than I thought. Many people whom I knew, when they went abroad, they were disappointed because they thought that every, everything will be, you know, roads spread with honey. I didn't expect it. Uh, but inside illusions, um, I didn't, personally, I didn't have illusions. Uh, what comes to inside life of Soviet Union, I, I knew how corrupted and bad and terrible it was. I don't know why I knew this. Maybe because I'm Ukrainian and we have a long history of um, um, neighbors who, um, you know, uh, colonized us. So. But uh, some people had illusions. Um, maybe it talks about uh, nomenclature, people who were in power in Soviet Union, Communist Party, they had illusions that it will last forever for them. <laughs> So it was an illusion. This is all I can think about. Maybe I'm tired. Talk, tell me if you are from former Soviet Union. Tell me in comments, what do you think was elusive um, in as a minus of Soviet era? So guys, I mean, I mean, it's very interesting because those videos are healing in my opinion. So write me a comment if you want me to continue. There will be hundreds of more minuses and maybe some pluses as well. So we can talk about it uh, later with you. I will welcome uh, any of your comments. Uh, it's a very interesting topic. So what people write. Uh, <coughs> someone, someone lives in Warsaw. Warsaw, not a You have to sell Warsaw. Uh, and uh, this person is from uh, Lviv, Ukraine. Diakuyu, thank you very much for your friendship. Okay, guys, I think it's, it's enough for now of me talking. Uh, I would be happy if you uh, write a comment. Take good care of yourself and bye for now.